Hey y'all, hey, it's Amir Renee. Welcome to my channel. Today is Black Friday. We went to the stores later on, like around five o'clock. We weren't doing the Black Friday shopping. But anyway, we needed some stuff from Target and I'm just gonna show y'all what we got. And then we got some decorations for the Christmas tree. I think we're gonna decorate the tree tonight. But my hair, I don't know if I showed y'all my hair. Last time y'all saw me, I was shampooing my hair with my products from Necessaire that I freaking love. And then I decided to do these jumbo twists on my hair. They crazy jumbo. I didn't know they were going to be this big, but I like them. They just sitting on any kind of way because I had the rubber band on them. But yeah, that's that. So let me show y'all the products that we got or the items we got. All this is from Target. So let's get this showing and telling. This is just another rug for the bathroom. I'm going to put this in front of the sink. We a cute big hat. So I wanted to get this for maybe when I go to work. My braids right now, jumbo. So all of my hats are kind of small. So this one I said I'm quite sure my braids could fit over almost. Probably not. But when I take them out, I'll be able to fit this little hat and little mittens. And this was in the $5 section in the front of the store. And then this scarf. Oh, I ain't show y'all my level. Let me show you my level. I always get sidetracked. But this is the leather. Don't mind the BB hanger. And this came with another coat. This is a nice sturdy hanger because this coat is sturdy. Genial wine leather. It's from Milwaukee Leather. And I got it in a size large. Let me show you. I wore this like once or twice. So of course when I get a leather... The weather is kind of nice outside and I don't need to wear it. But this is not a real thick leather, which I didn't want a real thick heavy one. I wanted more of a stylish one, but it does the job. Keeps me warm. I love the way leather smell. <laughs> you know what? If leather had like a perfume, I'd probably buy it. So cute! And look at the bed. I freaking love this. It's genuine leather and it was under 150. I think it was like 125. Very affordable. Love this. Smells so good. I might show y'all his tomorrow or something. I don't know. But originally I brought him his coat. He wanted leather for his birthday. And I was like, oh, that's nice. The quality is nice. It look good. I want one. So that's when I brought myself one. But I do really, really love this jacket. I got this scarf. Let me go with my leather coat. This was 17 it's long, nice material. Gotta cut all this out, but nice. Now right, let's get to the rest of the items. House products, detergent for our clothes. This Peroxyl Colgate mouthwash. My orthodontist recommended this for my braces since I might get cuts in my mouth. Well, good for that. I was goggling just 100% peroxide, but. I might as well grab this. It's a little expensive. It's like $10, but it's worth it. This stuff is his. His deodorant. He wanted to try this one, which it smells pretty good. And he, he doesn't like the way cocoa butter smells, but it smells like cocoa butter and shea butter. But he said he liked it. Some shampoo as I am. This is for dry, itchy scalp. Has olive oil and tea tree dandruff shampoo. Tums, because you get heartburn. Pack of gum for him. I can't chew up with my braces. Petroleum jelly Vaseline. I got some raw shea butter because I'm going to make a batter of my my whipped shea butter. I have a video on that. I'll pop it up right here and show you how I make it. But I'm going to make some for us because I'm running low. I always use it when I protect the styles in my hair. So I have like a little teeny teeny bit left. And my man like it too. And my mother. My sisters. We all use it. I'm going to do my pedicure tonight. So I'm going to use both of these and relax and relieve Dr. Till's eucalyptus spearmint essential oils. We got two more teas. We got dandelion root. This is really great for ladies who have horrible, horrible cramps like I do. I've been drinking this. Detox and digestion. And wait a minute, let me show y'all this. You need to grab you some of this. I've had one last night and I was going <laughs> all day long. Smooth move but help you go to the restroom if you need a little help. I was eating way more than I usually eat because it was Thanksgiving. Baby, I felt bloated and stomach was on fire. This definitely helped me. 
my Olipop sodas. I got two of the cream and one of the ginger ale. I love these sodas so much because I'm trying to count my calories. And for the calorie count, it's only 40 calories inside of the cream one. And 50 inside of the ginger ale. Compared to, let me show you how much in a regular soda. Compared to... 150 calories inside a regular Pepsi. Wild Cherry Pepsi is 160 calories. Crazy. So I've been, every time we go to Tanya or to the store that carry any of these, I'll grab about two or three because they're expensive. They're like three hours a piece. But this is the strawberry vanilla, the orange squeeze, Borsa Mountain Lime, and the Tropical Punch. I think this is the only one I haven't tried yet. This one is 35 calories. They're like 35 to 50 calories a piece compared to 150 to 160. Crazy. And they taste really good. I definitely would not recommend you... If you drink regular soda, I would not recommend you to buy these because you're going to be like, oh, this is nasty or it's not sweet enough. So when I cut out sodas, like this, this is my man's soda, but when I cut out sodas completely and sugary drinks... And I went back to try uh, Olipop. It was so freaking good. It was so sweet. It was everything that I needed. But if you're used to regular sodas, you're going to be like, girl, please. I'm about to put this stuff up. And let me show y'all the tree real quick. We put our tree over here in the corner. Removed this little scratch toy. Nino scratch toy was over there. So we put this tree up. We got that from Target. A seven and a half foot tree. All the decorations we just got. I'm going to show y'all all of these. And I think we're going to decorate today. I don't know. We're going to see these are the decorations we got from Big Lots. Wait, pause. So this is my first time going to Big Lots. I did not know they sell all this stuff. And then they sell furniture too. So we went in there looking for a couch set. But we saw all of these Christmas items. So we wanted our Christmas tree to be, of course, as you can see, gold and red. Some more gold and red ball down there. Oh my gosh, look at this gold Christmas tree topper. Isn't that cute? The star. A couple big bulbs right here. The tree skirt. This is cute. Some lights. These are some like, jumbo light bulbs. They're cute. And we got a smaller pair of the same lights. Pipe cleaner. So let's see how this go. I might not even sit here and record myself doing this because I don't even know how I'm going to do this. But this is the reason why we need a new couch. My freaking cat. I don't know how we're going to train him to not do that. He did that to the couch and also to the, the curtains. So we got to get new everything. I don't know. Help me if you know a way to train your cat to not scratch. Look at him. To not scratch. I don't want him to be declawed. I'm not going to do that. I feel like that's inhumane. Or you do what you want with your own animals. But I don't know what to do. Nino. He was over here chewing on the Christmas tree like it was a Chico stick. He's Oh, he's so bad. I don't know what to do. He was chewing it and chewing it and chewing. These so handsome. Hey, Nina. Hey, Nina. He speak back too, as you see. Girl, he chewing anything. So we saw Luma Force supposed to <laughs> make cats kind of scared. They don't want to go near certain items. As you see, it's kind of not working. He was chewing on the cord. So we put aluminum foil all on the cord. I don't know. I don't know what to do with my bad baby.
is my first Christmas tree in years. It's so freaking cute. So we did bundles. I showed y'all how we did the balls. Got everything on this tree from Big Lots. I think it's all Big Lots. I These bulbs are so freaking cute. I love all of them. So we did the lights and the bulbs at first. And it seemed like it was a little naked. So then when I went back and got the ball. And I did not know tying the bow was so hard, so I just did have I wanted to do it, and it came out looking really nice. And when I went back and got the bows, I said, oh, let me grab these. These are kind of cute little sickles or whatever you want to call them. And we got about five jumbo bowls. And they're so cute. And then the Christmas skirt is tan and red and we cannot talk about a tree without showing girl this this star is trying to embarrass me why is this star on against me look at the is that so cute i think it did a really great job when i'm in the bathroom i can see the tree from downstairs so i just look at it and like, oh, it's so freaking cute but here just have our stockings I need no, and that's my man, and that's mine. I put a couple little things in there, some treats for him and for my man and myself. No, I probably, I said I was going to fill one up with like some goodies for my niece, skincare and all that. Teenager, and you know, kids like skincare and all that type of stuff. Well, she did. Outside, I do have a wreath on our door and a Christmas banner on the, the side of the, the front door. And that is it. I'm hungry, about to eat. I don't know if I'm going to show y'all. I might show y'all. I'm going to make a um, little personal piece. I might not even show y'all. I'll just show y'all a picture of it because I'm so hungry. I want to eat it. Jump in the shower and go to sleep. I've been counting my calories. I'll probably do a whole nother video about my healthcare journey and, and all that. But my little pieces that I make, baby, is so good. And it's low calories because I don't use pizza crust. I use tortilla shell. And the tortilla shell that I use is only 50 calories. So, bam. Hey, look at my little tree. My tree's so cute. I am so proud of my little tree. It is so, so we are buying new furniture. And I think I'm going to go ahead and order these bar stools that I want. So, downstairs, I want it to be, like, dark. Why not? I want the furniture to be dark, dark and gold, and I'll figure out everything else as it comes along. Went to Value City, and the bar stools at Value City, my face look good, baby. She is clear. The bar stools at Value City, they weren't as stylish as I want the style I didn't like it and then they were way more than the ones from Amazon so let me show y'all real quick I gotta call my man you know how you gotta make him feel like he's a part of the process <laughs> even though he's gonna get everything I say but um you know you gotta make him feel feel like his input is important mm. hey 40 wooden hey Nino I'm so hungry I feel like I'm shaking this camp dang Nino he is forceful. He will force me to rub him. Like, he will just knock my hand and make me rub him. Hey, 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 hey. Either I'm going to get this style soon. Hey, you know, in this color, black and gold, and it was at $1.99. And they'll be here December the 8th, 8th through the 14th. So, they'll be here before Christmas. Or, I could do four. Is it four of them? Yeah, it's a set of four, but they're smaller. I don't know. You know, people got a little cushion back there, so I don't want them to fall out the stool. Or, I think this is the same brand, but this is if you only get two of them. It'll be $99. So, let me see which ones we're going to get and order them. And, oh my gosh, can I see a sweater for him? Because we put him in a sweater for Thanksgiving. He was so mean. I think I got a Christmas sweater I'm going to order for Nina. This little poor little cat. He's probably like, if y'all don't go ahead and get out of my face and dress up a doll baby or somebody and not me. Oh, it's so Christmas time. Christmas time.
know, this is the last bitch effort that I'm doing. It stinks so bad that I can't even have it inside the duster bag. It stinks everything up in the closet. I have it in this <laughs> tote. And then I brought this Armor Hammer deodorizer. You're supposed to be able to put it in your closet and that takes away odors and smells. Had this in this tote for like a month. And it still stinks. I love this bag so much. I had to put that in the car like that. So we was having brunch. It felt a little cute, even though it was raining and nasty. But you know, having brunch with my homegirl, whatever big, everything was so. It was raining so hard that day. It was raining so hard. Got bag got soaking wet. Took everything out of my bag, closed it up, put it inside the closet, inside the duster bag. Probably a whole year later, cause I didn't. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long, but anyway, a whole year later, I wore it again. I had my face mask, my bag. When I got out of the car, I put my face mask on. I was like, oh, this mask stink. I gotta wash my mask. This is my little mildew. Later on, come to find out my purse stink. It smelled like mildew. I did so many things to try to clean this purse. It might smell kind of good for a couple hours and later on it start to stink again. I know where I messed up is because it was soaking wet. I should let it air dry. I didn't know that it was gonna smell like mildew. I didn't know. Finally found a cleaner. Hopefully they were able to clean it. I called them. They said they were able to clean it. So I'm about to run out there and see if they could please get this smell out. This thing's so bad. I remember <laughs> I tried to carry it like a month ago. I said, forget it. I'm going to carry this bag. Maybe if it get out and get some air. It, something crazy in my mind. Maybe it starts smelling better. It just sounds so dumb. Got to call my boyfriend. Smelt. He didn't even know I had the bag. He said, what's that smell? I said, what's my bag? He instantly got quiet, mad, and was irritated. He was like, you got to take, take the bag out the car and put it in the trunk. He was being a little dramatic. It do stink, so I'm just going to keep it in this tote. We're going to run to this cleaners, and hopefully they can fix it. Sorry I'm talking fast because when I get off work, I got to go work out immediately. Or I'm going to sit down, chill, and not want to do it. So let's go do this now. Hello. I called about cleaning the odor out of the bag. Which one's from my... I know. You told me. Okay. You can't clean the odor out the bag? Okay. Two weeks. Oh, it'll take two weeks? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, you want to clean this one? Yeah. What else? That was it, the, the bag. Oh, okay. Yes. And then you send it out or you keep it? You yes, clean no, it here. send out, no. Okay. This has to go leather specialist factory. Well, that is a canvas. That's fine. It's fine, okay. Yes. And you said how much, around 35 35 $40. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. I don't know how I feel about this. Now, this is the place that I will be suing if they do anything to my bag. I don't know how much of that y'all got, but basically all he did was just, he gave me this. I wrote my name and number on it and said it'll take two weeks. He gonna send it out for clean. What you, <laughs> I don't know how I feel like, I feel like we had an episode of Seinfeld because we just watched Seinfeld when the cleaners was wearing Jerry clothes. And he saw the cleaners out. <laughs> I would get up movies and then when he got his clothes back, it was the movie receipt and his clothes. He was like, I knew I saw you, but anyway. They said $35, $40. That's not too bad because the bag was uh, over a thousand. I can't remember how much it was. Yeah, about twelve, yeah, with eggs. First of all, they don't make that bag anymore. As of yet, I don't feel comfortable buying eggs from third party stores, designer bags. I did that one time and I don't know, my conscience was like, girl, how I know this real. So I sold it back to, to the place. And also the, the fun of a designer bag to me is opening it up, just the brand new smell. Maybe later on in the line, I wouldn't mind buying second hand or used bags, pre-loved. But right now, nah. Let's go work out.